Hi, my name is Austin. There's a wonderful clarification technique that requires no special equipment or skills. It's cheap, vegan friendly, and can be made faster than a traditional consomme. The technique I'm talking about is agar clarification. But before I get into that, let me give you a little background on the ingredient itself. So back in the early 2000s, it was posited that meat stocks could be clarified by first freezing them, then thawing them in the fridge. Word got around, and soon many walk-ins and many restaurants contain large blocks of thawing stocks. What drips out over the course of the week is consomme, which is great because traditional methods require a lot of time and a lot of skill. With this method, even you and I can make a clear, flavorful stock. One day someone came along and swapped the gelatin with agar agar, which is great because now you can skip the refrigeration step and thaw the stocks at a much faster rate at room temperature. Now you wouldn't want to do this with meat stocks, but for things like fruit or vegetable stocks, this technique is very powerful for creating clear and flavorful liquid essence. So let's go ahead and get into how we do this wonderful technique. First, you need to puree your product. Here I have 500 grams of strawberries, but it can really be any amount since this technique uses percentages. It'll make sense in a second. Add enough water so that you can blend until smooth. I know that my puree weighs about 845 grams. I need to weigh out a third of that or 33% um, in water. So what is one third or 33% of 845? That's right, it's about 280 grams. Now for our agar agar, we need 0.2% of the weight of our puree. 0.2% of 845 grams is about 1.6 grams. Now you don't actually need a uh, jeweler's scale to do this, but I like to use it uh, just to be more accurate. Just to make the math easier on yourself, you can just do two grams, wouldn't be the end of the world. You don't want too thick of a gel. You need the gel porous enough to allow the broth to kind of seep through. If you make a really thick, solid gel, uh, you might have trouble with thawing and releasing that broth. All right, now let's add our weighed out agar to our measured water. You haven't forgot about that, have you? Like how I've forgotten which way to stir it so that you can see. We're going to give this a whisk and our simmering water until evenly distributed then let it boil for about two minutes. After two minutes, we're going to pour in our puree and whisk until completely combined. Uh, why boil? Because agar has to be heated to form a gel, just like cornstarch or wheat flour. At this point, I like to pour this gel into a sheet pan to cool faster. After about 20 minutes, you'll notice your gel taking shape and separation between it and our clear broth. So that's just in the freezer for at least four hours before proceeding. Once the gel is completely frozen, remove it from the freezer and begin breaking it into large chunks. Trying to get too crazy with breaking things up, you run the risk of getting gel fragments in your perfectly clear broth. You want to keep it relatively intact. Place the chunks in a colander lined with cheesecloth, or in my case, a bunch of coffee filters that I ripped up, and let drain until all that's left is a gross looking gel on top and a perfectly clear broth on the bottom. And there we have it, we've successfully clarified our broth using agar. Super cool and geeky stuff, huh? All right, so after all of our hard work of letting it drain, uh, this is what we're left with, a perfectly clear, super fragrant, uh, very flavorful, clear broth. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, for more of this science action, for more of that you know, cool techniques action. There are many, many ways to clarify things. I like agar clarification because it just works really well. It's cheap and again, does not require any skill or special equipment. Uh, all it requires is a little bit of time and a little bit of freezer space. So anyway, my name is Austin. This has been agar clarification and we out baby.